trying out a new video format. I'm going to try to kind of post my learning in a time-lapsed way. Uh, very satisfying because, well, by the time a few more days have passed, I'll have a, a record of all my progress, not just uh, visually, but also in terms of everything that I've done. Uh, really, every single stroke that I've done in drawing. Um, so anyway, for today, I'm referencing an artist I really like uh, from Twitter named, I think it's Kikini. Kikini. Kikini Momini. Very fun name. Um, and a lot of his works are just of these, like, jumpsuit, uh, half-life, hazard suit kinds of people. Uh, most of them just ridiculously buff. And I really love it. Um, I, I just love the whole look and feel of it. Um, and I've recently started working in tones digitally. I'm still pretty much a noob. Uh, but, you know, it was it was fun to try. I really like the way that these things come out, that they're kind of sketchy. They look like concept art. Um, and, you know, like you could... Uh, they kind of lend themselves to a variety of styles. I don't know. What the hell am I saying? Um, anyway, so his final lines kind of come out sketchy and, like, really confident at the same time. Um, like, the confidence is where I kind of need work on. Um, but basically, I have a three-step process here. So, first off... Um, I go with my intuition. I, maybe I looked at one image before this, uh, and then just tried to remember whatever I could. Uh, but this is mostly just my intuition, and just the way that I would normally draw when I think of the types of things that Kikini draws. Um, so anyway, I started here. I just did a, a couple of tones in there. Um, some light work like that. Um, not really great. Um, but you know what, like, the, the first one isn't meant to be great. There's a couple things I'm happy here uh, with, and I, I tried to make little notes on the side uh, of things that I that I saw about it. First off, just from my own head, I ended up erasing this because I did it on the wrong layer. Um, but yeah, I just noticed some things wrong with my lines, like some of them were kind of curvy, maybe not confident enough. Um, and then I actually just brought in one image from Kikini's actual drawings. I really love them, um, and I started to notice that like the way that his chests are shaped he always draws the full line of the chest here or at least in the picture I was looking at so like that's that's one little thing to kind of borrow from somebody else's style uh, really satisfying to do it all in color like bright color after all that tone um, he also just details more stuff on the clothing oh and like I'm so used to drawing like very fe effeminate legs um, and just kind of more effeminate characters in general uh, rarely do I draw men. Um, I just prefer to draw women and gigantic, like, dudes with big chests. Like, superhero people. Um, I also tried to copy his handwriting. I really like his hand- I hate my own handwriting. It really needs work. Um, so anyway, so I take all that information here. Um, and then the next step is to go over and just try to remember as much as I can. So, it doesn't really have to be the exact same image. Um, but the idea in this process is that I've just kind of incorporated some elements that I like about his aesthetic. Um, and hopefully in time I'll kind of, they'll kind of be assimilated, uh, into my own artistic sense. So, you know, I start off with the chest, um, and really, really sketchy here. I just put in a, you know, a couple details I give the guy like a tank top. Maybe I'm not thinking about clothing much, as much, because I've mostly just drawn like the naked, naked human form. Well, which is satisfying in its own way. It's satisfying to draw naked. You know, you don't see naked people just running around. Um, most places. But, um, yeah, okay, so we got the hand. My hand is ass. Still working on hands, but, you know, it's a work in progress. Um, and just in general, it, things looked a little bit more sketchy, a little bit more confident. Um, still not quite there yet. And, you know, there's things that I like from my own drawings. Um, that I'll, I'll probably keep, and maybe I won't take everything. Uh, but then I'm going in with the tones. Oh, I love this step, so satisfying. Coloring the jacket, just more, adding more visual interest. You know, your your mind tends to kind of oversimplify a lot of things. Um, you know, like you think of a head as a circle. Well, a head's not exactly a circle. Like, there's more, there's more to a head than that. Because, um, you know, we think in, like, abstractions and... Um, things that are abstract. So, um... Yeah, you know, like, you tend to oversimplify. Um, but, you know, just adding in the last few tones here. And it, maybe it's not exactly like him. Like, there's still there's still a considerable amount of stuff that's not. That's not Kikini-ish. Uh, but I really like his aesthetic, and I, I kind of wanted to incorporate some of this. So I guess maybe in the future, 
like moving forward if I draw stuff like this. Uh, I guess I'll pay more attention to clothing wrinkles. That was probably a big one. Um, and just going fast and sketching at the beginning, not really worrying so much about, you know, exact lines. I felt like I didn't, maybe I didn't even need these last few lines here. Um, but another thing I've been conscious of, and you can kind of see this in clothing, is uh, overlap showing uh, dimension and form and perspective and whatnot. Um, overlap's been a big tool. I've been drawing a lot of small intestines, so that's a uh, major component of this. Anyway, uh, baggier clothing, you know, just drawing better textures. I don't know, I, mean, I guess I'll just let the rest of this play out. That's about all I learned. That's about all you can learn in one day. Um, but yeah, nice way to learn, you know, try to copy that into your intuition. And yeah, I hope you learned something from this.